spawning into the top left hand metal on the boardwalk. The yellow Zerg pieces. ZVP. He goes by the name of Dream. And his opponent in the top left hand corner. I'm guessing he goes by the name of Reggie. It's, it's weird pronounced. I, I don't normally see R E E like that. Reggie? I, I, or I have no idea. I have no idea, guys. If you know the pronunciation of that name, please let me know. Hey, anyway, we look like we are going to see a bit of a Reaper expand coming out here on Battle on the Boardwalk once again. For our Purple Terran. A very standard play overall. 17 hatch, 17 pool, you know, the usual. Guess like Regis? Uh, Regi? Reg? I guess we'll just call him Reg, because, you know, I guess that's what we're going to have to go with. It would make sense to I me mean, if you got the I or yes, sir. Alright. Now we're settled back in, let's get back into this game a little bit. The Reaper Expand is what's going to be the opener of choice here for Terra. Now, the Reaper Expand gives you quite a bit of map control in the early stages of the game. Especially if you follow up with some Hellions behind that. A couple drones already out here, you know, chasing down SCV. Things we normally don't see in Gold League, or like Platinum and Diamond and up, is two drones chasing SCV around. But, you know, there's different things that do kind of get phased out as you move up the ladder and so forth. Like, I remember a Bronze, like, you saw, like, one SUV in your base. You were pulling everything. Maybe an autistic re- <laughs> Savage. Savage. All it. But, you know, that's one thing you normally don't see is, like, as you move up the ladders, different tendencies to stick around from older or lower ranks. As I was saying, in Bronze, you'll pull, like, five drones just to kill one SUV. Because you're so scared of like a cannon rush in a PVT or something. This Reaper gonna get in here and it's gonna find one drone so far. He might find himself a second. Like he will. Nice control there. From our purple Terran. You pick up two drones and get on out of there. Is, you know, back home he's even macroing up quite a bit. Just have a starport, a bit of a 1 1 1 opening. Looks like he wants to go for like a marine widow mine drop. Little Commander does start up in the natural base. No. Our yellow Zerg, on the other hand, is going to go ahead and pick up a spine crawler, which is very interesting to see. I mean, you have the queens already. You don't need to worry too much about that Reaper coming back in. Who is just seems to be scouting around everywhere else. I don't think he can jump up here. Yeah, he can't jump up down here. Means he is just gonna have to turn around and go back up to that natural base to get back in. You know, to scout around and see Zerg. Hey, get the creep tumor! Always a good idea to deny that creep tumor if you can. Get that Reaper. He's gonna go down here to scout the gold base. See, there is no gold and just head on back up. Now, we do have a Baneling Nest on the way here for a dream. Looks like we are going to be taking up the lair here very shortly and going for that Hydraling Bling. Widowmine. That is Widowmine. You guys check out the new Mirahan Widowmine. It has like afterburners on it. Like exhaust ports, they're all on fire and stuff. It's pretty cool. See some kind of drop plate come out here very, very shortly. I mean, there's not much else on the. Okay, so I just witnessed a Terran lift a barracks to build another tech lab. And then proceed to build another barracks on a reactor. You already have a tech lab on your factory. Unless you're building tanks, why do you have this tech lab on your factory? That's always always interesting to see. He is adding on a couple more barracks as well. So he is going to start that marine bio production up. So you're going to have a bit of a marine tank push come out here. It should hit right around... Should hit right around the seven five minute mark in that general area. 
if that's what he decides to do, you know. I mean, there's different decisions for Terran to do. But generally, when you're going bio, you're being a little bit more aggressive. We do have Lings and Banelings out here with a couple Queens, you know. So he should, should be able to hold off any kind of real aggression that comes out right now. First tank is on the way. We do have Roaches. We Roach, Ling, Bane. It's a hybrid then. So Hydra Ling Bling in the end is going to be the composition of choice for Dream. Now Dream is obviously going to have to go and tech up into uh, an Ultras in late game or a Broodlord's late game. But from there, see what he has in store for. We're going to go ahead and grab that third base. Macro up a little bit. So both players being very passive so far. 1-1 one, one, or plus 1 of the stem is about to finish up. And I imagine that is exactly when Terran is going to want to move out there. Is when that plus 1 is done and when stem is done. Now on Battle of the Boardwalk, there's a lot of narrow choke points around the area. It's going to make it very difficult for Zer to you know, get on top of this army in any, reg or like any regard. Especially if you fight up here on the Boardwalk, like in the Northern Boardwalk. Because there's so much you have to do to get around to the tanks, get on top of the bio. Thanks, you can just easily chew up your army. Same goes for like this middle section. And then down here in the south as well, where this okay, where this bio army is actually gonna push in from. The third base. This wood of mine actually got in here and scouted up the third base. This already sieged up in a very good position. <clears throat> That's the big Billy just. Yeah, tanks are going to siege up down here as soon as the cyclone gets in. I was going to siege them up a long time ago instead of fighting with them. Now the Banelings, aren't a lot of Banelings here, but there's a lot of bio. These tanks will be able to chew up these roaches. Very good connection there from those Banelings, but that is going to be it. All the Lings and Banelings have died. Just a few roaches and some queens left to defend, but that is going to, again, that's going to be, just going to be able to push forward here and get in a much, much better position. And you will just be able to rally more units across the map. Tanks are going to siege up and get to work on that queen and that spine crawler. Four going to get out here on top of the bio first. Trying to kill the bio, not the best way. He is going to be able to clean up the tank? Or not? Oh wow, the cheeky mule call down there to repair that tank. And we got the rest of the reinforcements are on the way now. The rest of the bio, there should be a lot more bio here at this point. A lot of money in the bank there for Terran as well. The drone's trying to hide up here behind the mineral line, you know, to you know to stay alive. But that's gonna happen. All these drones will end up falling. The tank will end up falling in the end. There's been a lot of damage done so far. Now this is not the army you want to lose at this point. Is Terran? But that plus one and stem doing a lot of damage here. Even Mute is being added on. Try you know catch these medevacs and do a little bit of damage there. But with the marine count here, it's just not gonna be enough. We should see Zerg tap out at any point in time now. Hey folks, that can coop. Front lock. <laughs> How do you go four more spine crawlers here? Not really going to get much done at all. I mean, again, this is one of the situations where it's just the player trying to hold on. You know, having that dream to stay alive. This is not going to happen in the end. Four Hydras are going to pop out, be on the wrong side of this firing line. GG going to get called out. That will give Reggie the third game number one. That background audio. Time for game number two. In this Gold League matchup, falling into the bottom right hand corner, currently down 1 0. Oh, they went to Neon Violet. That's the I was expecting Neon Violet Square. But anyway, he goes by the Yellow Zerg Pieces by the name of Dream. 
and his opponent in the top right hand or top left hand corner. The purple tearing pieces of Reggie. Reggie? Reggie? I guess Reggie. I mean, Reggie sounds right. Reggie? Reggie? Again, it's such a weird name to try and pronounce. Now, Green really just looked like he got outplayed in every aspect of the game last time. So let's see exactly what he has in store for us here. And he's going to go ahead and throw down a 17 hatch. Once again, we do, we'll have a Reaper expand now. Neon Violet Square. The Reaper does serve a purpose, but as far as scouting your opponent, it can be very difficult to actually get that Reaper up into the main base. There's really no jump up anywhere. There's no way to just jump up the cliff and get in. Unless they change that and allow you to jump up these little like buildings right here. There's no other way in, actually. Now, Neon Violet Square also plays host to the Pachinko slots. The slots that everybody calls them Pachinko slots. Because yeah, the units will kind of like zigzag through these. These are blockers out on the map. These little purple square blocks. All right. So early games. The other thing to point out about this map is a lovely like back expo here. This pocket expand that has like a total of eight worker count, but you get six in the gases total. So like three in each. Also, this is fun to look around at different places, like the Supernova Stripper Club. Also have Nova on a billboard there. It's a new cola, guys. Man, there's a lot of BJ's clan shacks around. There's one over here. One over here. There we go. Reaper is out on the map and making his way towards the main base. Look at this sign. Yeah, what sign is this? I guess it's for that eye, like iPod gun thing. I right, see if this Reaper decides to get done. Just gonna hang out awkwardly outside the natural and creep right now. Master is on the way. So Reaper expand was the choice of opener, obviously. That's Terry's favorite right now. We're gonna get knocked away. He's gonna go ahead and get this Reaper on out of here because he's not gonna get much else done with this Reaper unless he actually chase down this drone. But then he will probably just wind up losing the drones to begin with. A lot of links were actually on the production tab there, so I might see a bit of aggression come out here. For our yellow Zerg. He does have a dream, but the widow mine already out. In a very good position at the top of the ramp to catch any kind of links trying to come in. Behind that we do have a spine crawler being added on for Dream. Lair. So he is wanting to go into that Hydra Ling Bling once again. Composition that could have worked out if it wasn't for that beautiful one plus one stem timing. That is exactly what we're going to see once again, guys. We're going to see an engineering bay get thrown down once more. And just overall, a really good macro base build on two bays. So we had to push out across the map. You now, with plus one and stem being done, we had to find quite a bit of damage. We have a lip. Okay, this time we do have a drop. I already throwing a curveball in there. A dream didn't react very well to that tank push that came out at all. But now we do have this drop coming in here. Some marines and some cyclones in it. Are some wings here and some banners being morphed in? We do have queens, so this can get deflected very, very easily. As the layer does finish up. Gonna be able to get, boost this medevac in here, I would imagine. Boost this up, so unless he just flies it straight on in and drops everything off. Get that boost happy. Gonna drop these marines and these cyclones out. The queen is gonna end up getting cleaned up very, very easily. And now the drones are under fire as well. Gonna be able to find quite a few drone kills, but here comes the army of dream. To keep this dream alive, just gonna pick this Terran army up and get on out of here. But he did find quite a few da quite a few drones. There's seven drones and a queen so far. So some economic damage being done. He's gonna pull these marines back, heal them up in the medevac, load them back up, and let them go back in for another round. Zim is on the way. 
we have our tank production on the way as well. And no third base just yet for Zerg. Overall, that third base is actually really late. We have third down by now. Always an interesting decision to see where people would decide to take that third. Either gonna be here or here. Because a lot of people will actually ignore this base for a little while. But a lot of players will do that. The drop still just kind of hanging out back here behind the main base. Not getting much done at all. See where this decides to go from here because it looks like he is just going to go or our Reggie here is just going to go for that 1-1 one, one type of attack stem plus one attack. Third eBay out? I have an eBay just yet. He's going to go ahead and take that third base in the back there. A little bit safer to expand. But again, that base will mine out very, very quickly once it is fully saturated. Both players just playing that macro game. Kind of interesting that he did just back off of this drop. I mean, I know there's army in the main now, and he, like, he did defend it. But that drop is actually really, really successful. He didn't lose anything from that drop. I mean, he did a lot of damage there. The opponent is still on two base, so as a Terran, I mean, I'd be feeling pretty good just to push out across the map. I mean, you're up in workers, you're up in army supply. You need to go ahead and throw a scan down and confirm exactly what your opponent has. If it is nothing but lings and some banes, yeah, he's just gonna go ahead and move out. Drop's still hanging out back here. This is why I don't control group, man, because if I was gonna move out, I would kind of want all my army together. There we go. Just gonna go ahead and probably bring this drop right back into the main. It's gonna be more of like a one two punch. You get the main force sitting at the front, and then you're gonna have that drop coming in in the back. You know, kind of force your opponent to multitask a little bit, and this is exactly how you play Terran. You, you know, you drop one place, hit from the other place, hit from two different angles. Here we're going to march right in here. There is no third base, but there is creep. A scan would be nice to clean up this creep. Your opponent is reacting to the drop in the main. Cyclone, get it out of there! Now this medevac is under siege. We really didn't find any damage there, but the main force is pushing in. And the brain link connection is going to be... That's not on point this time. That base. Here goes Spinecrawler also going to get cleaned up. The hydrants are going to get cleaned up. There should be some lings left around here for somewhere. They do clean up the medevac in the main, but there's still a lot of damage getting done here. So more brain going to roll down. The split's not there. <laughs> That's when it splits. There's a tank fire there. It does clean that up very, very easy. Oh! But like I'm watching a bit of ZVZ action there, you know, the links is stacking up like that. Drone's being pulled to get on top of that tank. A little bit of friendly fire could end up killing that tank off. But this layer or natural expand will end up falling. And once again, the dream. Trying to keep the dream alive. Gonna run down here. He will be able to end up cleaning up the last bit of this. His tanks will end up falling, but entirely too much damage has been done. And if you're Zerg right now, your best bet, honestly, is just to try and push across the map with a few links to see exactly what you can get done. Because, but with the army back home just being already ready to roll out once again, there's not a whole lot you're going to be able to do here. Especially when your third base was super, super late. Like, afterwards, you're just already going to be behind the economy. You're going to be behind the tech at this point. He has Burrow on the way. Very curious to see what he has in store for us with Burrow play. Things out here scouting around trying to find where these medevacs went. He's to start up another hatchery here. I think he will end up doing. As soon as he gets that 300 mineral, but only having 17 workers here. Means you're not really going to have that economy to just re expand right away. Medevacs awkwardly hanging out. This queen's going to get picked off. Oh, we're going to get picked off. Here we go, just gonna keep pushing forward. Bailey's work again, they're gonna be kinda late to the party. These dudes will end up getting cleaned up very, very quickly. GG just gonna get called out, and that will be the end of this series. 2-0 going in favor of Terran.